everybody what's up and welcome back if you're new here i'm liz and today we're going to be discussing five more unidentifieds who were finally identified in 2022 so our first case of today is Lori alexander the body of a young woman was found near jellico on the border of Ken kentucky and tennessee on october 19th of 1998 this jane doe was ruled to have died via homicide the case remained unsolved for almost 20 years, and thankfully, with the help of NAMIS, the body was exhumed to have DNA and forensics done. In 2019, a dental exam was performed, but no matches were made with the, with the dental exams. Now, when people talk about dental work, dentists keep a, like an extensive file of the work they do on people's mouths. So this is how they are able to match people via dental. So in 2021, the case was reviewed again and a set of fingerprints were submitted to the FBI, but again, no matches. That was until February of 2022 and her identity was fully confirmed as of March, 2022. It is believed that Lori Alexander was the victim of a serial killer, but they aren't sure for certain. Lori Alexander went missing in October of 1998 and was reported missing by her family in Toledo, Ohio. And finally, her family had some closure when it came to this case this year. Our second case we're going to be talking about is Susan Hopps. So the Windy Point Jane Doe, which is what she was called, was found on July 7th of 1994 in the Uncapacity Uncapager, Uncapager Plateau near Windy Point, Colorado. And this, she was discovered by a family that was just hiking in the area. They were just on a measly hike and they found this woman. Now for years, this Jane Doe would remain a mystery until 2022. Using familial DNA, DNA is all the rage, investigators on this case identified the Windy Point Jane Doe on May 16th of 2022 as 45-year-old Susan Hopps, who disappeared from Pierce County, Washington on August 9th of 1993. Almost one year after she went missing, she would be found. For 28 years, her identity remained a secret, but we all know for certain is that she was murdered and the rest remains a mystery, unfortunately. Number three for today is Robert Soden, also known as Victim H. I do want to preface this because Robert Soden and the whole case that he is connected to and the serial killer he is connected to, I will be covering in a future video. So I'm going to like shorten it up just a little bit about him because I will be covering the serial killer and he's tied to. So this victim is a victim of the Fort Myers 8 of which I already said I will be covering in a video series coming up shortly. The Fort Myers 8 were speculated to have been killed by none other than serial killer Daniel Conahan. Victim H was identified in September of this year as Robert Ronald Soden, or Bobby as his nickname. His remains were found in 2007, along with seven other sets of remains known as the Fort Myers 8. Bobby went missing in 1996, and we wouldn't discover his body until 2007, so 11 years after he went missing, he was found. His death has been ruled a homicide, and for more information about this case, stay tuned until I release the Fort Myers 8 series, because it is coming, my friends. Number four on our list today is Shelly Christian, or Matilda as she was given. Her body was discovered on November 6th, 1994 in Coopersville, Michigan in a wooded area off of the south end of a cul-de-sac on 32nd Ave. I think that her body was dumped in between May and September of 1994 and her body laid there until the fateful day when a pair of rabbit hunters would find her body. It believed that she was the prey of a serial killer who killed sex workers during the 90s. Matilda would lay identify, unidentified until the DNA Doe Project tentatively identified her in December of 2021, but the true confirmation wouldn't be done until January 2022, when the world finally got to know that Matilda was Shelley Christian. 29-year-old Shelley Ray Christian, who also went by her maiden name of Kephart went missing on October 6th of 1994 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As of today, her case still remains unsolved and is listed as a homicide. Last 
unidentified who was identified is Stacy Lynn Chahorsky. Stacy Lynn Chahorsky, as, or as she was known as a rising fawn Jane Doe, is one of the two victims that I'm covering in this unidentified redhead murders that have been identified this year. The rising fawn Jane Doe was discovered on December 16th of 1988 on the east side of the northbound lane of the I-59 in Dade County, Georgia, which is about five miles from the Alabama-Georgia line. This Jane Doe would stay unidentified for 33 years until she was positively ID'd through fingerprint analysis as 19-year-old Stacy Lynn Chahorsky in, in March 2022. Now, for more information about this case, I will put it in a card above because I just recently covered this case. That, my friends, are five more out of the 20 unidentifieds who have been identified in 2022. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in another video.